Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to activate cheats on RetroArch. This is going to work for a number of different consoles and a number of different games. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is have RetroArch installed in your system. I'll be leaving links to this in the description down below. From this point, we're going to be coming to our home screen on the bottom left. And we're going to be coming to the online updater option right here. Simply click this open and we're going to be scrolling down until we see the option update cheats. What you need to do is click this. Your cheats will then be downloaded and extracted. Depending on your internet speed, this can take anywhere from a couple of seconds to a minute or two. It didn't take too long for me. The extracting process took a lot longer. So what you need to do is let this download and extract. So once the text at the bottom goes away, your cheats should be downloaded and extracted correctly into your RetroArch. So from this point, all you need to do is open up any game you'd like to activate cheats on. And we're going to be activating cheats in the menu once your game has been launched. So once your game has launched, in this case, I'm playing Pokemon Red on the Game Boy. What you're going to need to do is click on the RetroArch icon right here. We're going to be scrolling down to the bottom of this menu and you're going to be looking for the cheats option right here. We're going to be clicking this open. So once this cheat settings opens up, what we're going to be doing is clicking the load cheat file or in brackets replace. If we click this open, we'll get a list of different emulators that actually have cheats downloaded for them. So in this case, I am using the Game Boy, so I'm going to be using the Nintendo Game Boy right here. I'm going to be clicking this open and then you're going to have to look for the game that you're actually playing. So in my case, I'm playing Pokemon Red. So I'm going to be scrolling all the way down to Pokemon. And at this point, there is going to be a couple of different versions depending on your game. So I would recommend making sure you have the correct version for your game. In this case, you can see it's USA and Europe. So for me, that's just fine. And I would recommend if you're having issues with any of these cheats, experimenting with different cores can also help depending on what your problem is. So it is worth experimenting here a little bit. Once you're happy and you've found your cheat file, simply click on it. And now what we can do is scroll all the way down in our cheats menu, just underneath apply changes. And here we can see all the different cheats that are available for our game. So in this case, I have over the first one, it's infinite money, have all badges, seen all Pokemon, and you have a full list of different cheats here. So in this case, I'm just going to be activating to have all badges. And from this point, what you need to do is click enable here on the top right. And now your cheat has been enabled. If we back out of here, you can see this cheat is currently on while all the other ones are currently off. So this is where I'd recommend experimenting a bit having only one or two cheats on at a time, seeing what happens when you experiment with them and making sure there's no conflictions with the actual cheats. And then we have a couple of extra options here as well. One is to auto apply cheats during game load. And the second is to apply after toggle. So this means you can automatically reapply the same cheats again. So these are two extra options you can enable on your Android device. This is something I would recommend experimenting with to see what works best for you. Once you're happy with all your cheat settings, you can simply click apply changes here and everything will be automatically applied. Although I would usually recommend a restart just to make sure everything works correctly. Click back on the top left. When you're inside the quick menu, you can simply scroll up to the top and click the restart option. And you can see just like that, I have all the Pokemon badges. Now in this case for me, I did actually have to pick up a Pokemon first before this would work for me. So I only had to go down to Oak and actually get a Pokemon. However, just like that, after that, I instantly have all the badges, which is really cool to see. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to use cheats on RetroArch. Now, like I mentioned, some cores may give you issues while others will not. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal. Found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.